In case you are just starting out with coding, maybe you graduated university or want to learn it while also getting paid, this video is for you. I am a senior software engineer with almost 7 years of work experience. During all this time I managed to try different side hustles besides my main job that revolve around coding and successfully monetized them. So in this video I will reveal them to you along with the difficulty and a rough estimate of how much you can expect to make from them on a monthly basis. If that sounds interesting, stick around. What I used to do when I was younger and didn't know how to code was look at a lot of tutorials. Apparently this is called tutorial hell and needs to be avoided altogether if possible. The reason for it is that by looking at one lesson after another you are not putting the acquired knowledge into practice. Coding is not something you can truly master just by reading or watching videos, it's a skill you build by doing. Imagine learning to play the guitar by just watching someone else play, you wouldn't magically wake up one day and be a pro. The same goes for coding. Instead of consuming tutorials endlessly, try this. Pick a simple project that you can realistically finish. Search Google for beginner project ideas, maybe something like a to-do list app, a weather app or even a basic portfolio website. Once you've chosen a project, don't hesitate to use tools like ChatGPT or Stack Overflow to solve problems as they come up. You'll be surprised how much you learn by troubleshooting and implementing solutions yourself. The beauty of finishing projects is that they don't just build your skills, they also give you something valuable to showcase in your portfolio. This is essential for landing your first freelance client. Which brings me to the first way I started making money online. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr or TopTel are excellent places to begin. Start small and don't focus on the amount you make at first, just get your foot in the door. The clients and the reviews they leave on your profile are much more important in the beginning. Take on projects that match your skill level, like fixing bugs or creating small features for websites. Over time, as you build a portfolio and gain good reviews, you can take on bigger and more profitable jobs. One of the best things about freelancing is the flexibility. You can do it alongside your studies or your main job whenever and from wherever in the world. Depending on the complexity of the work, beginner freelancers can earn anywhere from $10 to $30 per hour. In my experience, the maximum amount I made was $50 per hour for an 8 hour project, so that was a pretty good payday. Another great way to make money online is by creating online courses. I made over $10,000 from this and here is a secret I'll share with you. You don't need to be an expert to teach, you just need to be a few steps ahead of your audience. What I used to do when I was learning new concepts in programming was that I'd often package what I was learning into courses and upload them to platforms like Udemy and Skillshare. This not only reinforced what I was studying but also brought in a steady stream of passive income. Think about it this way, if you spend a month creating a high quality course, it could pay you dividends for years. I am still making money monthly from courses I created a couple of years ago. On Udemy for instance, a beginner friendly course priced at $20 could easily earn a few hundred dollars monthly if it gains traction from positive feedback and watch time. Just make sure your course is packed with value, present it in an easy to understand manner and the 5 star reviews will come. Next, let's discuss finding a job. This may sound obvious, but for many beginner software engineers, landing their first full-time role is one of the best ways to start earning money. A junior software developer can earn anywhere between $50,000 and $70,000 annually in the US. Once you have some work experience, the numbers climb significantly. Even though I am aware that the job market is not what it used to be back in 2021, especially for people that are just getting in the field, you can still land a good position if you know your stuff well and show it to the interviewers. In my opinion these days the key to getting your first job is showcasing your work. Employers want to see what you've built, so having a GitHub portfolio or a personal website featuring your projects is key. Networking also plays a huge role in this. If you followed my story, you know that my best friend from college actually referred me to my first internship ever. So this is my advice to you. Connect with people on LinkedIn, attend local coding meetups and join online communities. Building genuine relationships in the tech community can often open doors you didn't even know existed. 
Another creative way to earn money is by coding a useful app or tool and selling it. Let me be clear that you don't need to create the next Facebook here. Even small niche utilities can generate income. Think about creating a Chrome extension, a mobile app or a software as a service tool. Once built, you can sell it on platforms like AppSumo or Gumroad. An inspiring example here is the story of Mark Luvion, a developer who created Shipfast, a simple yet highly effective boilerplate aimed at helping startups and solo developers ship their products faster. What's truly remarkable about Mark's journey is that he didn't start with a massive audience or a big budget. He just shared his work on platforms like Twitter and Indie Hackers, demonstrating his tool's value and how it solved a real-world problem. Word spread quickly because developers saw immediate benefits. The same goes for you. Utility will skyrocket the amount you make. Depending on the demand, these kinds of digital products can bring in anywhere from $50 to $500 per month, or even way more if they go viral. A niche that I haven't seen being that saturated and that you might want to hop into is the creation and selling of APIs. They are essentially mechanisms that allow different pieces of software to communicate with each other. You could, for instance, scrape data from public sources like weather reports, sports scores, or stock prices and create an API that serves this information in a structured way on different endpoints. Once you've built your API, you can list it on platforms like Rapid API, where developers or companies can pay to use it and furthermore integrate it in their apps. I personally have a few APIs on Rapid API that generate passive income, and I've created a course that walks you through the entire process of building and deploying one. You can find it in the description below. Here's a bonus idea for you. Consider starting a blog or a YouTube channel. Pretty much anything that will grow you an audience. Platforms like Medium allow you to earn money through their partner program if your articles gain enough reads. Similarly, a tech-focused YouTube channel can bring in ad revenue, sponsorships and affiliate income. Just remember that building this takes time and consistency, so it isn't a quick win strategy. You will get paid a lot later than on the other ones, but if the effort is consistent, you might see an exponential curve of results. I'd say this is the hardest out of all of them because you won't see results for quite some time before the algorithm decides to pick up one of your pieces of content. It can be done as a perseverance exercise, but only if you know you'll go through with it. The best part that I found over the years about coding is that it's versatile. It can be done anywhere as long as there is an internet connection, and the skills you acquire can open countless opportunities. So take that first step and start earning while you learn. Don't let analysis paralysis stop you. Pick one method that resonates with you and dive in. You don't need to have everything figured out. You'll learn and adapt as you go. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these methods or have your own suggestions to add. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. Happy coding!